क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the action of K2Cr2O7 acidified K2Cr2O7 on potassium iodide and now in this topic we are going to talk about the acidified K2Cr2O7 action so now in this topic we are going to talk about the action of acidified K2Cr2O7 on hydrogen sulfide so what is the reaction let me talk about that in this topic So friends in this topic i am going to talk about the reaction of acidified k2cr2o7 on hydrogen sulfide so in this case k2cr2o7 obviously we have to make it in an acidic medium so therefore we are that is dissolving it in four moles of h2s4 so whenever k2cr2o7 is reacted with four moles of h2s4 along with that of that is three moles of h2s so this is the balance reaction that is i am writing about so that's the reason that the product that is what we could get is k2so4 that is potassium sulfate along with that of cr2 so4 thrice which is known as chromic sulfate along with that of that is 7 moles of h2o and that is 3 moles of sulfur so in this case k2o cr2o7 it oxidizes h2s so as to form sulfur and k2 cr2o7 along with the acidic condition we understand that the solution is orange red in color but after the reaction has occurred the solution becomes green in color and this is because that is the k2cr2o7 is converted into cr2so4 thrice which is basically green in color so therefore this is the color change that is what we can observe whenever the k2cr2o7 is treated with that is h2s so therefore this was nothing but the action of acidified k2cr2o7 on hydrogen sulfide So thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this reaction very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time and then don't forget to subscribe to Ikra channel thank you so much